Hello, my name is Sergey. I'm from supervisory team. Based on the experience of our clients who are the experts in medicine and the experience of using applications such as MITK and 3D Slicer, we have developed an ultimate toolset that allows us to work directly with original DICOM scans such as CT or MRI without converting them into a set of images. You can easily annotate 3D objects and export them in a compatible format to use in aftermentioned applications. Now, I will show you how to work with DICOM labeling toolset and tell you about its key features. Let me open this project. Supervisor supports working with the 3D object out of the box. Here we can see different planes and 3D projection. Navigating through the interface is almost the same as in well-known tools for physicians and doctors such as MITK and 3D Slicer. For example, we can use the pen tool. I select a plane and start labeling the object. The pen tool can be used in combination with the brush and polygon for annotations. Here just hold mouse button and draw the smooth line around the object. You can release mouse for the straight lines. Once we close the contour, the mask will appear and we can see this mask on the 3D projection. We can navigate across the different slices of the plane and label objects with the pen or the mask tool. Let me select brush tool for another slice. I can configure the size of the brush using hotkeys. For example, I will mark this slice. If I make a mistake, I can use the Raise tool to correct my mask. I can also use the Pen tool and activate the Polygon card mode to slightly correct the edges of my original mask. We can go through the different slices and label the objects on them. As you can see, the labeled slices are also visible in different projections such as 3D representation. We can use the Smart tool to segment the object placing a button box around it and the neural network will predict the mask. We can communicate with the platform by providing red and green dots to correct its predictions. Once we are satisfied, we can press the space button, move to the next slice and repeat the procedure. The smart tool helps to segment the object faster than the default manual tool, like the pen or the brush. We finished labeling our object on the different projections and planes such as actual, coronal and sagittal. Of course, we can see all of them in 3D. To fill the gaps, we can start the interpolation tool, which will reconstruct the objects on missing slices. We can apply or decline the result and continue working with it. Let's apply this 3D object. Additionally, we can select the object and correct the results on different planes. Supervised works directly with 3D data. We also have additional features like crosshair tool that allows to quickly pick a point on the bottom and see the corresponding location on other planes. With this tool, you can navigate quickly across all points in your model. Also, because we work directly with the compiles, we have a windowing option. Right now, the colors we see on this volume are calculated automatically and limit to 256 layers of gray. But we can manually adjust contrast and brightness, similar to what you can do in 3D Slicer or MITK. Alternatively, you can choose one of the predefined templates for windowing, such as highlighting the ones. I want to mention that you can customize the layouts to suit your needs. You can switch to panel mode, bring in the panels, and prepare an interface that works best for you. It's also important to note that we have a variety of ease to speed up your work and they can be customized. Physicians can adjust them on the which line they use in their medical tools. We have a lot of other settings that you can explore in our blog or documentation. 
If you like this video, please click on and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much and see you later.